Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome international megastar pianist and Volkswagen Group global ambassador, Lung Lung. Gentlemen, please welcome the head of Group Communications Volkswagen Group, Stefan Grusem. Wow, great. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Lang Lang. It's a real pleasure to have him here tonight. For me, ladies and gentlemen, Lang Lang is quite literally a global player. He performs in the world's most famous venues all over the world, the Hollywood Bowl, Carnegie Hall, the Berlin Philharmonic, or the Royal Albert Hall, and today, of course, in Shanghai. <laughs> we are talking about a global... Please, give him a hand. Okay. So we are just talking about a global player who is a master of his craft, who performs with passion, perfect timing, and lots of emotion. In fact, someone very similar to the Volkswagen Group and its brands. Thank you so much, Lang Lang. We will have the pleasure of listening to you tonight again. So thank you very much for the first time. Thank, thank you, you thank Lang Lang.
And ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Volkswagen Group Night here in Shanghai. It gives me great pleasure to welcome all our colleagues and our honored guests. A very warm welcome to our partners and colleagues from Shanghai Volkswagen, FAW Volkswagen, and Sinotruck. Welcome Professor Dr. Martin Winterkorn, CEO of Volkswagen Group, Professor Dr. Jochem Heitzmann, member of the board of Volkswagen Group and president and CEO of Volkswagen Group China, and Matthias Wissmann, president of the German Association of the Automotive Industry, and also, of course, members of the boards of the brands and the Volkswagen Group. Shanghai, yes, please. Shanghai is a must for any global player looking for the perfect place to present their ideas and their vision. And that is why Expo, the World Trade Fair, was held here in 2010. And that is why the 21st century Beetle began its journey around the world 2011 here in Shanghai. And that is, finally, why nine of our fascinating brands are unveiling their new models for you here tonight. You can look forward to an exciting and entertaining evening. And you can join us in finding out what sustainable mobility means for us and our Chinese partners. So let's get started with a vision that has become reality. Good evening, Good Professor evening. Heizmann. Good evening, Good Professor Hackenberg. So I'm very happy to welcome Professor Dr. Heizmann and Professor Dr. Hackenberg, board member for development at Volkswagen Brand, here with me on the stage. You came in uh, with the XL1, which represents Volkswagen's cutting-edge technology. And this is the first time, I think, it appears here in China, Professor Heizmann. Yes, really, and uh, we are very excited to have the XL1 here on display, the Shanghai Auto Show. It is proof of our dedicated to providing the group's newest and most advanced technologies to our Chinese customers. So, lots of technic in that car. It's the most efficient car of the world. Yeah, so, and yeah. the technical profession, professional is here with me and he can give us some details about the facts here. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Stefan, the XL1 combines Volkswagen's core technology and that in one car very compressed. And that's consequent lightweight construction, that's an exceptional aerodynamics and it's an innovative, innovative plug-in hybrid based on a two-cylinder TDI engine with 37 kilowatt and an electric motor of 20 kilowatt, which is integrated in a triple clutch gearbox. By using a lithium battery of 4.5 kilowatt hours, it's able to run 50 kilometers pure electric. The car achieves a consumption of just 0.9 liters per 100 kilometers in the official cycle test. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and beyond that, what is the significance for other brand models? Uh, the, it underscores the company's growing 
the company's growing push into the plug-in technology. And so it's a lighthouse for this new technology. A hybrid car is more efficient uh, than other cars, and so it's a very uh, important car for the climate and uh, for the future uh, of, of, uh, of our traffic. So we will hear a lot of more facts in the future. And Dr. Heizmann, while being here, standing with the both cars here, beautiful cars, uh, wouldn't it be possible to bring that car as a company car? Well, I think this would really be an ideal, really great idea, and uh, I would try to keep it here in, in, in China. But anyway, you will also find more and more of these XL1 really exciting ideas and technologies in current and in future Volkswagen models here in China. Ladies and gentlemen, this evening is, is not just about fascinating new models. We are also proudly celebrating an anniversary, 30 years of Volkswagen in China, 30 years of passion, progress, partnership. Thank you, Professor Dr. Heizmann and Professor Hackenberg. And uh, the stage now is yours, so I'll leave you alone for a moment. <laughs> When in 1983 the first Volkswagen Santana rolled off the assembly line, a vision became reality and laid the foundation for what has become a successful and sustainable partnership. Only two years later, in 1985, Shanghai Volkswagen launches production and FAW Volkswagen starts production in 1991. Volkswagen and China have since then grown together to shape a common future that culminated in the production of the one millionth Santana in 1998. Soon to be followed by the one millionth Jetta of FAW Volkswagen in 2006. By investing over 15.7 billion euros in China's car industry in the last 30 years, Volkswagen defines its lasting commitment. Today, more than 75,000 employees help to shape an upright future for China's car industry and society. But a sustainable effort does not stop outside the production plants. Therefore, Volkswagen has cooperated with Chinese universities in the last 20 years and even more supports local culture and major events. The company's commitment as the lead sponsor for the Olympic Games in 2008 is only one example. It continued with the support of 2010's Expo. In 2012, the new plant was founded in Xinjiang. Meanwhile, new Santana and Jetta premiered. Volkswagen's first approach in China 30 years ago set a benchmark and was soon followed by Audi and, as of recently, by all members of the Volkswagen Group. Selling over 16 million cars up to now, Volkswagen and its group became the most desired brand across all segments. Side by side, Volkswagen and China are defining a new way of living and, with the group's brand segment, fulfills the vision of an affordable car for everyone. And the journey goes on. Dear ladies and gentlemen, Wan Shanghao, welcome to Volkswagen's group night at the 15th Shanghai Auto Show. We are very happy to have you here with us this evening. This year marks a milestone anniversary in the partnership between Volkswagen and China. 30 years ago, in April 1983, the first Santana was produced here in Shanghai. A few years later, we introduced the Jetta to the Chinese market. Volkswagen has always played a pioneering role in China's auto industry and, central to our strategy 2018, we continue to drive innovation in the automotive sector. Today, the XL1 took the stage here in Shanghai. Again, Volkswagen is a pioneer and innovator in the automotive sector. Dear ladies and gentlemen, exciting products and customer satisfaction are cornerstones of our firm, which make it all the more unfortunate to have recently inconvenienced our customers in China due to issues in a number of DSG units. As a member of the Board of Management of Volkswagen AG and head of Volkswagen Group China, I express my personal regret, my personal regret to our Chinese customers 
for any inconvenience, we work hard to address this issue. At our Beijing headquarters, we established a task force of specialists who will ensure the quality and the response of our customer service in the future. We are committed to our customers, and this has my undivided, my really undivided attention. We have been a strong partner of China for 30 years and will continue to be in the future. Over the next three years, we will invest 9.8 billion euros in our joint ventures. More than two-thirds of this investment will be dedicated to eco-friendly production and ever more efficient vehicles. And since 2005, we have already reduced average fuel consumption of our entire, entire China fleet by 20%. By 2015, we will reduce it by a further 11%. And we plan to offer electrified vehicles in 2014 to 15, as well locally produced in China. We aim to be the top employer in our industry. The strength of the German industry relies on the dual education system, which combines theoretical and practical education. And we are bringing this system to all of our plants in China. Dear ladies and gentlemen, the Chinese market is of great importance for Volkswagen. In the first quarter of 2013, we delivered 770,000 vehicles to customers in China, a growth of more than 21%. To meet the future needs of the market, we have decided to expand our capacity to 4 million cars by 2018. Seven additional new vehicle and component plants are already on the way. Following our Go West strategy, we opened the Chengdu plant. Our next step west is Orumshi in Xinjiang, which will open this year, marking a new pioneering role in China. Meanwhile, with new factories in Foshan, Yicheng, and Ningbo, we progress in our south strategy. And we are also on the way to build a new plant in Changsha, southwest China. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, you will witness the dynamic strength of our multiple brands. This includes our commercial vehicles as well. At the entrance, you experience the impressive lineup of MIN and Scania. We are developing this business and these brands in China to offer highly efficient heavy-duty trucks. Volkswagen Group will bring transportation to another level of efficiency in China. We will continue as pioneers in China, pursuing responsibility and sustainability in this country. We believe our true success is best measured not only by sales and profits, but as well by customer satisfaction and commitment to China and sustainable development. For now, have a nice evening. Xie Xie.
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the member of the board of Volkswagen Brand Technical Development, Professor Dr. Ulrich Hackenberg. Welcome again, ladies and gentlemen, to a world premiere, the concept of an SUV of tomorrow, the cross blue coupe. Isn't that a nice car? Thank you. The cross coupe is a very high emotional SUV with sporty proportion. It demonstrates the potential of Volkswagen design for creating passion and dynamics. The high-tech concept car is based on the modular transverse matrix. You know it as MQB. It is defining the maximum of what is technically feasible based on the MQB today. The concept car with a top speed of 236 kilometers per hour is powered by a plug-in hybrid drive system. Plug-in, what does it mean? Really, and what does it really signify? Uh, it is that the battery can be charged ex externally via a separate interface. The battery of a plug-in hybrid vehicle offers a multiple of battery capacity. In the Cross Blue Coupe, uh, this capacity is 9.9 .9 kilowatt per hour, kilowatt hours. That is enough electricity to cover 33 kilometers in all electric driving. The driver can choose uh, when the car should be driven electrically by pushing a button. There are three drive sources on board. It's a V6 petrol engine and two electric motors. One of the electric motors is integrated in the six-speed triple-clutch gearbox. The V6, it's a TSI with turbocharging and direct fuel injection, produces 220 kilowatt, while the electric motor contributes 40 kilowatt. The second electric motor is located in the rear of the SUV and has a power of 85 kilowatt. In the EV mode, the SUV has a top speed of 120 kilometers per hour. As soon as the total system power of 305 kilowatt is tapped, all three motors from an Allianz form an Allianz and now drive the car via all four wheels. The Cross Blue Coupe accelerates in uh, from, from, 100, uh, from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in just 5.9 seconds. So actually, we should be talking about an SUV sports car. Even more remarkable is that its fuel consumption in the official driving cycle test is just 3 liter per 100 kilometers. So we have an electric car on uh, the one hand, but it's also a versatile all-wheel drive SUV that covers all demands all SUV customers do expect today. In the framework of our electric mobility strategy, which has been individually adapted to China, together with our joint venture partners, SEVW and FAW, we intend to locally produce electrified drives and cars like the Cross Blue Coupe here to fascinate our customers and to stabilize our leading position in the Chinese market. Thank you very much for your attention.
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Chairman and CEO of Bentley Motors Limited, Dr. Wolfgang Schreiber. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. From Bentley, in a greater China premiere, the new Flying Spur. What a breathtaking car. It is full of luxury and refinement. And at the same time, it reaches a top speed of 322 kilometers per hour. It is, in simple words, just the best luxury sedan in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very happy to be here in Shanghai tonight. Greater China is a key market for Bentley and already the second biggest for us. The new Flying Spur will play a very important role for our business in China. It is our best-selling model here. This car marks a big step forward. We have redesigned and re-engineered almost every part of it. The new Flying Spur brings more comfort and more refinement. It is lighter, stiffer, faster, and it uses less fuel than the previous model. And there is plenty of technology for today's lifestyle inside as well, like a new infotainment with an onboard Wi-Fi. Let me show what I mean by this. Ni hao. Um, you can, and I hope you can see it, now control multimedia, but also climate control, seat heating, or satellite navigation by a new touchscreen remote in the rear console. You see it in the, hand, in the hands of the young lady. And now you can see she's able to control all those functions by just of a tip of her fingers. Thank you very much. But there is uh, even an easier way. You also can download an app from the internet and you can then easily use your own smartphone to control those functions in the car. Yeah, and this is what we at Bentley call contemporary luxury. Thank you very much. Dear ladies and gentlemen, now let's welcome Mr. Chang Ai Lang board member and president of Shanghai Volkswagen, and Mr. An Jing, board member and president of FEW Volkswagen. Please. It's my honor to have you here tonight, and we are pro so proud to have such strong partners here in China. More than 70,000 people work for Volkswagen Group in China, and almost 30,000 of them are employed at Shanghai Volkswagen. Dear Mr. Chang Ai Lang, Shanghai Volkswagen has awarded seven years in a row as a top employer in China. Please, let us know how you achieve those successes in the field. Okay. 正如刚才海斯曼博士所说的员工培训机制将为上海大众乃至整个汽车行业培育更多的高素质的汽车专业人才 
And uh, how else uh, do you support top talents in the outdoor industry? 呃，是的，在建立员工培训中心的同时呢，我们也致力于积极开展校企合作。那么去年呢，上海大众国家级工程实践教育中心正式启用，将在未来与高校合力培养更多创新型、应用型、复合型的汽车专家队伍。那么此外呢，我们也创造性的建立了上海大学大众企业大学，融合国内外优秀的教育资源。为企业员工提供良好的学习和成长环境。And、uh, you combine education with environmental responsibility. Yeah, 是的，呃，怡中工厂呢，沿袭了上海大众一贯的全过程控制的环保理念。那么，运用了多项国内外最先进的环保技术，将绿色工厂战略融入到我们产品中的每一个环节。而怡中工厂培训中心呢，也同样如此。我们利用地热调节室内的温度，同时呢，我们也配备了太阳能的光伏发电板，为员工电瓶车提供充电服务，旨在将绿色环保的理念传达为每一个员工和员学员。那么去年呢，上海大众刚获得了上海市质量领域的最高奖项——上海市市长质量奖。先进的生产理念、专业的培训机构、优质的服务，都提供给了我们将来继续努力。为中国消费者带来更更优质汽车生活这样一个保证。Congratulations. Driving the future means to drive sustainability. Dear Mr. Anjesheng, the Foshan plant is a lighthouse project of resource-friendly production in China. Yeah. 呃，尊敬的海志曼教授，尊敬的各位来宾、媒体朋友们，一汽大众一直致力于制造节能环保的高品质汽车。同时，积极建设环保的绿色生产基地。就在不久前，一汽大众佛山工厂刚刚被授予绿色工业建筑三星级的设计标识，成为国内首个获此殊荣的现代化的生产基地。And、uh, what requirements you had to meet？ 呃，在整个生产过程当中，我们采用领先的工艺，严格控制噪声、废水、废气、废渣等污染物的产生和排放。特别是工厂的中水回用系统，实现了生产生活污水的收集、处理、再利用，做到了污水的零排放。喷涂生产线二氧化碳年排放量减少了大约一万吨。除此以外，大约百分之十的工厂所需的能源都是由太阳能系统来提供的。And、uh, you have an integrated mission？ 呃呀，拥有良好的硬件设施只是一个基础，我们更重视通过系统化的培训。不断提高全体员工的节能环保意识，增强公司的环境绩效和能源绩效管理的水平。同时，我们也加大对供应商和经销商的环境管理力度，打造一个成熟完善的绿色产业链。这是一汽大众更高的一个追求。Thank you, Miss.、Uh, thank you, Mr. Dan. As you can clearly see, we are committed to sustainable development, and、uh, together. We deliver high-quality training for our employees, environmentally friendly products, and we are taking care of resource-friendly production. Thank you, Mr. An Zhejing. Thank you, Mr. Chang, Chang Ailang,、um, Xie Xie. Yeah, Xie Xie. Thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Chairman of the Board, Audi AG, Rupert Stadler. So, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Isn't that a beautiful car? You know, designers love flowing lines. They avoid everything that has corners and steps, especially in the compact sedan class. The stylic vocabulary today is more aesthetically than ever before. Experts say this is thanks to the special Audi design. So when Audi creates a sedan, it always results in appealing lines and curves. The A3 family, founder of the premium compact class with the three-door version and the Sportback, is now being extended with a very stylish newcomer and a world premier here in Shanghai, the Audi A3 Sporty Sedan. With this model, we are entering the world's biggest market segment, the class of compact sedans. At the end of this year, our plant in Fujian will start production. Our second production site in China is a clear sign of the growing demand in our largest single market worldwide. And the good news for southern China, we will produce our new Audi A3 sedan in Fujian. With 25 years of market experience, we know very well what our customers here desire. The A3 sedan is 15 centimeters longer than the A3 Sportback. This creates plenty of space for all the passengers and their luggage. Our new model is a genuine sports sedan and it is unmistakably an Audi. The new top model of the range is the S3. We will show you this power pack at our press conference also tomorrow morning. So the A3 family grows and grows. In March, we just premiered our very first plug-in hybrid, the A3 e-tron. We are absolutely convinced that the concept is the best way forward into the age of electric mobility. We offer city driving with zero emissions, and alongside its electric motor, the A3 e-tron also has a combustion engine on board. This results in an overall range of nearly 1,000 kilometers. The good news, we will introduce the A3 e-tron also in China. You see, Audi does not only represent dynamics and sportiness, we act environmental friendly as well. We are leading in CO2 reduction over here. Since 2012, Audi has already met the official weight-based targets of the Chinese fuel consumption regulations to a larger extent than any other premium brand here in this market. We even overfulfill the targets. We are proud of an additional reduction of about 20% in our locally built models as far as average fuel consumption is concerned. This is thanks to our rollout of the Audi efficiency program in 2011, which now pays off. Ladies and gentlemen, I am personally convinced that this pretty cool car, the sporty A3 sedan, will be very popular, especially among young people. It is a premium pioneer in the Chinese compact segment, and it will support us in our growth strategy, staying number one here in China. And on that note, may I introduce to you another pioneer, one on two wheels. The Ducati premium brand has been a part of Audi Group for the past nine months. Here in China, Ducati established in 2008 
the first regional offices in Shanghai, and one year later, the first official Ducati store was opened. This marked the official beginning of Ducati's presence in the Chinese motorcycle market. Recently, we had a delegation of Chinese journalists in Italy visiting the Ducati plant in Bologna. And believe me, they were thrilled. Here is Ducati's latest sport cruiser, the Diavel Carbon. An output of 162 horsepower puts genuine Ducati performance on the road. And it sounds like this. So here it is. The Ducati Diavel is a motorcycle that is unique worldwide. It combines a powerful engine at superbike level with a frame in custom shop styling. And with the Diavel, Ducati entered a new segment in 2010. The Power Cruiser was born. It is a motorcycle that has now set a new benchmark in the sport cruiser segment. State-of-the-art technology, innovative design, Italian craftsmanship, and extraordinary riding pleasure. These four attitudes are masterfully blended into the Diavel. The innovative machine combines decades of twin cylinder heritage and, of course, Italian style. And the Diavel takes the man-motorcycle relationship to the next level in absolute comfort. So it is really easy to ride. And it meets our requirements as to lightweight and agility, like all Ducatis do. And the Diavel Carbon is the pinnacle of the model range. It features a mixture of aesthetics and performance improving components, some of them made of race tested carbon fiber materials. The Diavel stands for the innovation power of Ducati, and that's what Audi and Ducati have in common. Therefore, I may announce the new segments we just founded won't be the last we enter. We have the strategic goal to further develop the Chinese motorbike market. We experience very enthusiastic fans here. It is a young, it is a very dynamic market, so this mission is very promising for us. We want to repeat Audi's success story in China, also with this brand, with Ducati. So thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Chairman of the Board of Management, Škoda Auto, Professor Dr. Winfried Fahler. Yeah, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's nice to be back here in Shanghai. For Škoda, 
China is already the most important market. And we have only started here a good five years ago. And a quarter, it's today a quarter of the sales of total Skoda, and I can say it's a new record. This is reason enough to show here in Shanghai as a world premiere our totally revised flagship. For your eyes only tonight, our refreshed Skoda Superb. Here is an elegant lifestyle derivative that we also import to China from this year on. For many years, Skoda has set the superb has set standards at the high end of the middle class. And it has impressed demanding customers with supreme comfort, power, and also excellent environmental values. No other car in this class offers as much room as our superb. Four years after the market launch of the second superb generation, we have fundamentally revised this model and have made it even more attractive. Both the front and the rear are all new, clear, precise, confident, distinctive, and elegant. At the same time, this model confirms all the good qualities that have made the success for years. Prestige, a lot of room, high environmental standards, value for money, and, as always, many simply clever solutions. Something you will otherwise only find at the top end of the luxury class is a clever detail which we are offering to our customers. The space for an umbrella, which can be stored simply clever inside the door, always within easy reach. I will show you. Here it is. <laughs> Thanks. <clears throat> In June 2013, this car will be launched in the world markets. And here in China, it will be launched shortly after in the second half of 2013. Thank you so much, and I wish you all a nice evening. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Matthias Müller and Wolfgang Hatz. What incredible, uh, incredible cars we have, Wolfgang. Yours and my 936 Spider. In uh, 1976, Porsche won two titles with it both in the World, Sp uh, World Sports Car Championship and the World Championship for Brands. And uh, Jackie X, who is over there, won the 24 Hours of Le Mans three times, especially the most inciting one in 1977. 
Ladies and gentlemen, such spectacular motorsports victories have shaped the image of the Porsche brand for more than 60 years. And uh, the experience of our engineers gain on the racetrack flow continually into our standard vehicles, which means there is a bit of a race car in every Porsche. And my colleague Wolfgang takes care of that. We continue writing our success story in motorsports with full force. At this point, also in China, the Porsche Carrera Cup Asia is the most successful racing series in this region. It has drawn millions of spectators for 10 years now. And the highlight is the Formula One race here in Shanghai. And now we will push the pedal to the metal even harder. This year, Porsche has entered the sports car world championship again. In November, the Porsche 911 RSR will be starting in the six-hour race here in Shanghai. Wolfgang has just driven on stage with a brand new high-tech uh, race car. Tell me, Wolfgang, does the 911 RSR have what it takes to leave the competition in the dust in a long-distance race? I'm, I'm quite sure. Um, we have improved uh, the car in all areas. We have uh, uh, optimized the weight, the weight distribution. We have uh, improved uh, the aero and the aero efficiency. We have a much better um, mechanical grip. And I think uh, our engineers in Weissach have done really a great job. And already last Sunday, we had the first race, first time, uh, with this new car in Silverstone, and it was a quite promising start. And I think we still have space for improvement, but uh, I think we can do the job. And if we work in this direction, I think uh, we should uh, be able to be really be competitive in Le Mans. And even so, we are very proud to present them the car here in Shanghai in, at the end of the season. Thank you, and I will definitely be here in Shanghai. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, China is already the second largest market for Porsche. And last year, we delivered more than 31,000 vehicles here, 28% more than in 2011. And with over 8,800 vehicles sold in the first three months of this year, Porsche was again 24% ahead of the same period in 2012. In order to protect this growth course, we'll double our dealer network to around uh, 100 Porsche centers by 2015. In addition, we will demonstrate to the people here in China how fascinating it is to drive a true sports car. The new Porsche Driving Experience Center in Shanghai will start operating next year. Then, our Chinese customers have the opportunity to explore the performance of their sports cars right up to the limit. What's more, customers in China show a growing interest in the 911, Boxster and Cayman model lines. Our extensive engagement in motorsports in Asia will further reinforce this positive trend in the future. By the way, I've brought along a double surprise for our press conference tomorrow. We will show you two premieres which are perfect for a city like Shanghai. Please join us on the Porsche stand at 11 o'clock. I look forward to see, you, to see you there. Thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the president of Bugatti Automobiles, Dr. Wolfgang Schreiber. Yeah, me again. Good evening again, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, tonight here in Shanghai, as a world premiere, the fastest production roadster on earth. The Bugatti Veyron 16.4 Grand Sport Vitesse with a world record speed of 408.84 kilometers per hour with the roof off. We choose Greater China for this world premiere to demonstrate our commitment to China. We are experiencing a huge interest in our brand and our super sports cars here. The Chinese love Bugatti. Ladies and gentlemen, as a tribute to our fans here in China, we invited a Chinese citizen to drive the Vitesse for this world record. And this man did a great job. He is a businessman, passionate race driver, and a friend of the brand. Please welcome Anthony Liu. Yao, Anthony. Um, yeah. Please let our guests know how it felt to push this uh, this Vitesse to a top speed of more than 400 kph. With the roof off, I suppose. With the roof off. Uh, amazing speed, pure adrenaline rush, and uh, what can I say? Uh, incredible stability, um, surprisingly comfortable, and uh, I believe you and Bugatti engineers have accomplished a great feat in automotive engineering, so congratulations to you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Anthony. Yeah, would you do it again? Absolutely. Anytime, anywhere, you let me know. <laughs> just, just one question for some of my friends. Uh, is this for sale? Yes, <laughs> for sure it is. Um, it will be a very, very limited number, uh, just eight cars and eight. eight just eight, and as you know, uh, eight is a lucky number here in, in, in China. Yeah, and uh, that will begin very soon. Thank you very much, thank you, Anthony, and thank, thank you, you very much, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you, congratulations again, Wolfgang. Stay yeah, thank you, a little Stefan. bit with me here at the stage, sure, uh, sure. yeah, because you are ahead of one of the most exclusive brands in the world, and you have a very personal relationship to your customers. And for that reason, what what is with the name Donaka Smith or Donaka Smith? Have you ever heard it? No, sorry, I have never heard about it. Okay, then then I can tell you and you also, Donaka Smith is a Bugatti driver whose rise to fame as a Hollywood superstar was sealed by the Matrix trilogy. And now he has also become a director. Tomorrow sees the world premiere of his latest film in Beijing, and you can enjoy an exclusive preview this evening before the audience takes its seat at tomorrow's premiere. Ladies and gentlemen, Man of Tai Chi, starring Donaka Smith and directed by Keanu Reeves. Ladies and gentlemen, give a warm welcome to Keanu Reeves. Look at that. That's cool. 
please. That's crazy. Hello. Good you want to take this car with you? Oh uh, yeah, sure, please. <laughs> what, what we what we just saw was a trailer for a so-called micro movie. Uh, and they are a huge phenomenon here in China now and have attracted some very famous directors and actors. But you, Keanu, you are the first Hollywood celebrity to act in one. What are the reasons for that? Well, I'd say um, I thought it was cool, actually. <laughs> uh, the, uh, the trailer that you just saw is for a, uh, a micro movie that's uh, coming out. It's a... Um, How do I call it? I would say it's um, a kind of a chapter of a story that started for me uh, with the Volkswagen Group over a year ago um, in connection and, and cooperation with my first feature I directed here in China. Okay. And what made you not only perform but also direct the movie? What is so special at The Man of Tai Chi? Well, it's a, it's a, a project of passion. You know, it's something that I've been working on for over seven years. And, um, you know, speaking about it here tonight, um, and going forward and making this film, uh, you know, with an introduction by PAE, I had the opportunity to have the cooperation and support of the Volkswagen Group uh, for the film. And what that meant was that I had the opportunity, they gave me the opportunity in a way to cast a car, cast cars in the film. Um, you know, we got to use uh, the Lamborghini Aventador, the Mulzahn, the Bentley. And so they were like, what would you like to use in your film, Keanu? And I was like, thank you. I'll take the Lamborghini, I'll take the Audi. And they were like, okay. And it made it something that was more than just cooperation. It's been a partnership. And that really kind of ties into the micro movie. You know, in the sense of, I had the, the characters of the car in the film, but then with the micro movie, in a way, you get to continue the story of a character. You know, I, I kind of continued my character in the film into these short, into the short film, and, uh, you know, it's all about stories, right? That sounds really, really exciting. U usually Hollywood comes to China. That is what we, what we know. Eh? But now it's more and more and more the other way around. China goes to Hollywood. Does this new trend work to the benefit of the global audience? Yeah, I mean, I think if we're talking about stories, absolutely. And I think that this is going to start, you know, in the future, go, you know, we're going here, they're coming here. I think the exchange, the integration, uh, the opportunities, You know, if we're just speaking about vehicles, you know, they're just, they're aspirational, but they're functional. And, you know, they're things that we dream about. They're things that we live our lives with. Um, and if you get to drive one, something like that, you know, life ain't bad. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, for me, it's just, you know, being, having the opportunity to tell stories. Really, really. As you mentioned before, there are five Volkswagen Group brands uh, co-star in the movie. Yeah. And uh, your character, Donica Smith, drives a Bugatti. So yes. this was your His choice. His life is good. <laughs> <laughs> this, was, this was your choice. Any preferences regarding the others? You know, when I was a kid, it was the Lamborghini, right? The Lamborghini was the dream. It was like the crazy car. You know, the Bentley was like, you arrived. Um, the Audi's kind of like the new kid on the block, and right now I'm waiting for my Porsche to ship from Stuttgart. <laughs> <laughs> Soon, I hope. Yeah, it will, it will. Be sure, be sure. This will work, this will work. What, what our audience, of course, is interested in, it's maybe the most important questions when we can see the movie. Well, I'm hoping uh, Man of Tai Chi will be coming out in the summer here in China and, um, you know, sometime hopefully uh, in the fall of this year uh, globally. Yeah, that's fine. And the uh, micro movie will be coming out, you know, schedule-wise, just, you know, previous to, to, the, um, to the release of the picture. So hopefully if you see Man of Tai Chi, I hope you like it. If you see the micro movie, I hope you like it. And if you get to drive one of those, I'm sure you will like it.
We, we, I'm also <laughs> sure this will work. You and the cast, this is perfect partnership. Yeah. Huh? So, Keanu, it was a pleasure to have you here. The audience liked it very much, as you can hear. So, good luck for tomorrow for the premiere. Thank you very much. Thank yes, you very much for being comments. here, our guest. Good night. Thank good you. luck for the future. Have a good one. Thank Ladies and gentlemen, you. Keanu Reeves.
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Executive Vice President for Research and Development, SEAT, Dr. Matthias Rabe. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Here is it, our all new Leon SC. This three door version is the most emotional member of the new Leon family. SC stands for Sports and Coupe. And this car really is sporty. It's very agile and with a 180 horsepower gasoline engine, pure fun to drive. And it is a real coupe, but without compromising on functionality and practicality. For example, the Leon SC has a boot volume as big as a normal five-door Leon version. The proportions of the new Leon SC, which means a shorter wheelbase, a lower roof, a faster C-pillar, and very precise lines and blister underline the dynamic design. But I would like to highlight one special feature, the full LED headlights, unique in its class. Their light signature support perfectly the design of the car, and when you drive this car, the extremely white light turns the night into day. The new Leon family marks a big step forward for SEAT and will play a key role in the future of SEAT. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the president and CEO of Automobili Lamborghini, Stefan Winkelmann. Buonasera, signore e signori, e benvenuti. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the new Aventador LP 720-4 cinquantesimo anniversario. It's a tribute to our 50th anniversary. You know, it's also a highlight of the Aventador because it's a success of global dimension. Last year, we delivered almost a thousand cars worldwide, and which is more than twice as much as we have done uh, for the best year of the Murcielago. Uh, we are going to build out of this wonderful car just 100 units for the entire world, so it's a very limited number of cars we are going to do. It has 720 horsepower, 20 more than his brother of the Aventador Coupe. Uh, it has an improved aerodynamic uh, because we changed the front and the rear bumper, and this means that we have a better handling stability at high speed. Yellow is the color. Why yellow? 
because yellow for Lamborghini is the most sold color ever, since the mid of the 60s when uh, we launched the Miura. And uh, last but not least, I'm very honored and pleasure and have a great pleasure to be here tonight in Shanghai, in China, which is one of our biggest markets worldwide, to show you this world premiere. Grazie. Thank you. Thank you, Stefan. And that, ladies and gentlemen, wraps up tonight's presentation of our new models. But our commitment to China, our second home market, as we call it, goes beyond product. Together with our strong partners here, we are working on a global scale to become the world's most fascinating automotive group. Join me on a short trip through the world of the Volkswagen Group. And after that, Please welcome the man who, like no other, ensures that our visions become reality. Ihnen herzliche Grüße aus Deutschland. Haben Sie einen wunderbaren Abend in Shanghai. Senhoras e senhores, sejam bem-vindos a Shanghai. O Brasil deseja a todos um excelente evento. Aproveitem a noite. Ladies and gentlemen in Shanghai, I'd like to welcome you from the United States to a very special Volkswagen Group evening. Volkswagen de México les desea una excelente jornada en Shanghai. Buenas noches también desde España. Saludos hacia Shanghai a los participantes del Concern Aven 2013. Srdečně zdravím z České republiky všechny účastníky koncernového setkání v Šanghaji. Uvažujeme kolegy, ráda přivítat vás a želám příkrásného večera v Šanghaji s nejlepšími poželáními z Rusy. Greetings everybody. Sending a warm welcome from South Africa to everybody in Shanghai. Have a lovely group night. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Chairman of the Board, Volkswagen Group, Professor Dr. Martin Winterkorn. Wang Shang Hao, ladies and gentlemen. As you saw in the film, the entire Volkswagen world is looking to Shanghai tonight. Twelve fascinating brands, 100 production sites, worldwide, and, ladies and gentlemen, 550,000 dedicated employees. They all send their good wishes on 30 years of Volkswagen in China. Together with our partners at SAIC and FIW, we are proud of what we have achieved. China has become a vital member of the Volkswagen family. And Volkswagen has become an integral part of this great nation and its people. And we are reaching out to the Chinese people to shape the future as good partners and as good friends. So for me, this Shanghai Group Night is sending out three strong messages. First, in many ways, Volkswagen is not only a European, but also a Chinese company. 30 years ago, we are a pioneer of Chinese industrial development. Ever since, 
We have been helping to turn China into a strong automotive nation. Our joint journey is now entering in the next stage. With the biggest, biggest investment program in China's automotive history. The seven new state-of-the-art component and vehicle plants. With an additional 25,000 new qualified jobs by 2018. And of course, with the very best engineering and technologies developed and built here in China. Second, Volkswagen is a green company. Our mission is to ensure mobility for as many people as possible. At the same time, we are determined to protect the environment and safeguard natural, natural, resources, natural resources. Here in China and all over the world, we are pushing ahead with even cleaner and more intelligent products and technologies. That includes the most advanced combustion engines, DSG, and lightweight design. New powertrains, such as electromobility and plug-in hybrids that we will be launching also in China in the near future. Alternative fuels and the use of renewable energies and eco-friendly green production at all our plants. I firmly believe that climate protection and efficient technologies are drivers for economic growth. And I'm confident that the world's best automaker must take the lead in terms of green mobility too. The Volkswagen Group is living up to this challenge. And our one liter car, the XL1, proves we have everything it takes to succeed. My message number three, Volkswagen is a responsible company. People in China put their trust in our group and our brands. And we are deeply honored by this confidence that is reflected a sales plus of over 21% in the first quarter. I assure you, there is nothing more important to us than the safety and satisfaction of our customers here in China. As Professor Heizmann said, we are making sure that Volkswagen lives up to this responsibility in every way. With zero tolerance when it comes to the quality of our products. With many new vehicles tailored to the need, needs of Chinese drivers, but also with answers to the pressing issues, pressing issues of our times. Issues such as providing qualified and secure jobs for our employees, offering vocational training and good perspective for the younger generation, promoting research and education at universities and schools, and fostering a society that will not drift apart, but stay in balance. Ladies and gentlemen, we are living in times of great challenges and uncertainties. More than ever, people yearn for commitment and trust. They are looking for substance and enduring values. At Volkswagen, we know that. At Volkswagen, we have understood that. That is by our brands and vehicles embody precisely the value, trust and substance that are so important. The Shanghai Auto Show once again proves Volkswagen stands for great emotional vehicles, for cutting edge technology and economic success. And Volkswagen stands for responsible conduct towards employees, society 
and the environment. That is the Volkswagen way. That is the core of our strategy 2018. And that is our promise to all people worldwide and here in China. Chi Chi, and thank you very much.